Welcome to FuturePreviews.com. I'm your host, Naughty Lynn. We're here today at the CES 2018 show, and we're checking out some new cool technology that's out. Um, hope you enjoy our footage. See you guys. Hey, Naughty Lynn here with FuturePreviews.com. We're still here at the Klipsch booth, and we're talking to Vlad about their Heritage headphones. Let's hear about it. I'm Vlad Drodzinski, the Senior Product Manager for Glipsch Headphones, and this is our new flagship Heritage HV3 headphones. We're introducing them this year with the Heritage Headphone Amplifier. It's not an amplifier that's required, but it's something that's going to make the sound really clean, crisp, awesome. Uh, the Heritage HB3 has been conceived over the last course of two years. So last year we showed a prototype of it. This time it's come to full fruition. It's an open back, semi open back headphone, which takes advantage of the openness of an open back headphone and the wide sound stage and the great bass that you get from a closed back headphone. So combine those two things together, build it out of machined wood, milled steel, hand stitched leathers, and you get this beautiful premium product. Uh, it's part of our heritage line, so it's going to be supported for a very long time. All the pieces are replaceable. Um, it sounds phenomenal, and I highly guarantee want everybody to take a listen when they can have the opportunity. Available uh, on our website, Crutchfield, and currently about 13 or 14 dealers across the United States. We're adding 14 to 15 more this quarter, but you can always find them on Crutchfield and Clipsch.com. Um, Ear pads are removable. They have a biocellulose driver, so that driver is more like a speaker driver instead of a headphone driver. It's free edge, so it uses a rubber surround instead of a mylar diaphragm. So what that gives you is better highs, better lows. Um, available now, $11.99. Heritage headphone amplifier uses an ESS Sabre DAC. It's $4.99, also available now. Awesome, and you said it comes in multiple colors for us, us picky types. Yes, so the three colors that are available for the Heritage HB3 are solid ebony, which is going to look very black, it's a dark wood, solid walnut, which is a black walnut, it's a really nice brown, lush, deep look, and then this is my favorite color, it's the oak. The oak is lighter, uh, there's no hi-fi headphones that ship in this type of look. It's very natural uh, and I think beautiful. Well, they're definitely beautiful, so I... I approve um, and we love your booth thanks for having us your boat and your base on here is pretty rocking so thank you for um, thank you so much hope you have a great show and thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time bye Perfect photo spot for capturing the San Francisco cityscape and Alcatraz Island in the same picture from the top of the hill. Do you like it? Yeah, looks pretty. Hey, Naughty Lynn here with FuturePreviews.com. We're at the Toyota booth at CES 2018. I'm here with Ron, product specialist for Toyota. Ron, can you give me some overview on iConcept? Sure, yeah, we actually have a really cool vehicle here. It's called the Concept I, and this right here is now the Concept I series, Naughty. So it's very cool. We've introduced two new vehicles to the North American market here at CES 2018, the Concept I Ride and the Concept I Walk. Uh, these jo this joins the Concept I that was introduced at CES last year, and these two vehicles are really designed for mobility purposes. So we have a great vehicle, the iRide, that's going to uh, give full mobility to wheelchair users and the elderly. And then the iWalk, this is great for pedestrian zones right here. Again, for elderly or anybody having mobility challenges or needs just needs free movement around, maybe around the room or around town or as an everyday vehicle. And these feature really, really cool artificial intelligence that actually does some really surprising stuff. So are these being launched this year? Is this something that people will be able to look into in purchasing this year? Uh, well, it's actually not launching this year. These are all concepts right now. We're hoping to have one of the Concept I prototypes on the road by around 2020. Hopefully in time for those Olympic Games at that Olympic tie-in. Now that we're an official partner of the Olympic Partner Program, 
hopefully we'll get that Concept I and maybe even a Concept I ride out there soon. Well, great. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a great show. Thank Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys. E-Palette. Enter the E-Palette business ecosystem. Thanks for logging into FeaturePreviews.com. Naughty Lynn here at the Casio booth at CES 2018. We're here with Ryan at the Casio booth talking about their G-Shock Rangeman. So we have the Rangeman right here. It's a really exciting model for us. The best thing about the Rangeman, I would say, is that it's our all-encompassing piece. It's going to be our first G-Shock smartwatch. So it's one of the greatest features about this guy is that it is going to have a freestanding GPS to it. It's going to be a really nice watch to have. If you're going to be on going outdoors, if you're going to have any type of outdoorsman, you're going to get lost in the woods. It's really good for that because it'll be able to draw you back. It'll show your GPS line to your location in the woods or it'll draw your GPS line back. So if you do happen to get lost or if you veer off path a little bit, it'll be able to give you all that information on your way back. So that's one of the greatest features about having the Rangeman other than the fact that it is Bluetooth and it does connect to your phone. So those are just some of the like the main selling points I would say on the watch. Well, it's a very attractive timepiece. We really appreciate you taking the time to give us some information on it, and uh, we hope you guys have a great show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Naughty Lynn here with FeaturePreviews.com. I'm I'm here at the Fly360 booth with Larissa, and she's going to tell us a little bit about their uh, 360 camera. Yeah. So it's a 360 degree camera. It captures 360 by 240 degree of video. You can take still photos on the camera as well. We have it's a 4K capture that we have this model, which is a spherical model that has a quarter 20 turn mount, so it's compatible with your standard mounts. And we're introducing a new um, slim aerodynamic design. Um, same great features as the as the original camera. Um, just a newer design with different mount options available to um, for any different use case. And where can our viewers purchase one for themselves? So the new design won't be available until the spring, um, but the 4K camera is available at Best Buy and on 360fly.com. 360fly.com, and, and what does it retail for? $3.99. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us at your booth. It's an awesome booth, yeah. and uh, have a great show. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for logging in. See you next time. FeaturePreviews.com. Naughty Lynn here at CES 2018. We're in the Samsung City checking out their new OLED displays and their dashboards for cars. So tell me all about it. So this is what autonomous driving is when you introduce the Harman system and their amazing software into Samsung services such as Bigsby and SmartThings. So we'll start off here over at the driving cluster and what you see through comfort mode that you can also have simple applications open such as navigation and maybe even clock and weather. If you go ahead and press view, you can actually get extended information based on the app. In this case, we're looking at the four-day forecast. Now, if you go ahead and press view again, now go ahead and press sport. This is for the more serious driving. So now you're manually driving, you're not having any distractions. But the main part of this whole entire concept display is gonna be this 28-inch QLED display and with our CID, Central Information Display. A couple different options such as navigation, being able to do dual window with music, and even making it full screen as well. So starting the music, we'll look down over here at the gesture controls. So go ahead and swipe your finger across the screen. Only one finger. It goes ahead and skips to the next song for you. Such as even volume up and even pause. What makes this really easy is that I could be just looking straight at you and I can just swipe across and it'll go to the next song for me. So I'm not fidgeting and being distracted. All of these is OLED displays. Also with flexible plexi as well. And looking over at these buttons, you can see that they're also going to be customizable as well. So go ahead and press one of these options. Now it's became fan speed. Huh. So being able to customize your own driving experience, even down to the ambient lighting. Go ahead and choose a color. And as you see, it changed all the way through. Now let's introduce Bixby. Open smart things. 
So using Bigsby to dictate commands to the car as well while autonomously driving, I can open something such as smart things, which helps me control my home right from the car, even while not being there. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the refrigerator. Go ahead and click refrigerator. And now shelf by shelf, you can actually view what's inside your refrigerator. Wow. In addition to that, let's say if you're on the way to the supermarket to buy something that you may be missing, you got to check engine light. Let's go ahead and diagnose it. We have an internal diagnostic system within the software as well, down to the tire pressure, you needing an oil change, and now also to the engine codes with an entire repair service history and anything they've done. Now me as your passenger in this lovely ride, we also are greeted with the passenger screen as well with two different main options. We have what's called street view mode which enables us to look at a 360 degree view outside of the car in real time. As well as even looking through the individual cameras as well. And also even tapping for different options as well. So now we see that traffic is being held up behind us. Turning off screen view mode now. Maybe I want to look at a video on, what, on the kind of seafood we're going to cook when we get home. And now I'm able to do so. With a QLED display, which is the same technology we have in our TVs, we introduced it into this display as well. And this is autonomy driving. I have a, I have a couple questions. Question one. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's like 120 degrees in the summer. What is the uh, temperature, you know, I guess? The climate control? Yeah, yeah. No, not climate control. More or less, like, is this going to withstand high temperatures in a vehicle? Absolutely. So this only being a concept design, the OEM and manufacturers from other vehicle companies, they can actually design it to how they want it, even down to the hardware itself. So because they already have that information, they're able to compensate for such. Awesome. Now, does this work for hands-free driving? Driving and like you know watching Wonder right, so Woman is, while driving. <laughs> right. Again. So basically, concept design based off of autonomy driving, where you're not even behind the wheel at all. Yeah. You're letting the car do the work, so that way you're able to do so. Now. Pretend. Exactly. Now during manual driving, if you were to switch to sports mode and wanted to do it yourself, this will only be a screensaver mode until a passenger gets into the car. Oh. Well, thank you so much for your time, Theo. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time futurepreviews.com. Have a great Hey, Naughty Lynn here. I had a great time at the CES 2018 show in Vegas. I hope you guys enjoyed the new technology we're bringing to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media, futurepreviews.com. Check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow me, Naughty Lynn. See you guys next time. Bye.